Hi friends, welcome back. Uh, so we decided to discuss about Docker. So let's have these two questions. So what was happening before Docker and why Docker? So not only for this Docker, for any technology, we should ask uh, ourselves two questions. So what was happening before that? What is the current technology? How uh, it is doing, uh, how it is resolving those problems of previous technology, okay? So what was happening before Docker, there were two approaches. One is uh, physical server approach, and the other one is virtual server approach. So we can discuss about what is the physical server approach and the disadvantage, and after that, what is the virtual server approach, how the virtual server approach solves the problems of physical server approach, and then finally, how the Docker is solving the previous two server approaches, okay? So let's discuss uh, physical server approach now first. Okay, so how it is happening is, for example, you take one physical server. So this is like hardware. Hardware means CPU, RAM, and then hard disk. So on top of this, we will install OS operating system it can be windows or linux or something else okay on top of operating system we will be installing application server that is like jboss tomcat or WebLogic or WebSphere, something like that. So including application server, we may be installing some libraries. Like JRE runtime, or if it comes to the .NET, we will give .NET runtime. Okay. So inside this application server, for example, we will place our application, like app one, okay? So first we will have physical hardware. On top of physical hardware, we will install operating system. On top of operating system, we will install application server. Along with application server, we should have some libraries like run application runtime, some other system packages. And inside application server, we will place our application. Now, how we uh, access this application? So that is like HTTP, DNS or IP address, colon, port number, slash, our app one. Okay. So when you give this in the browser, this DNS or IP address reach this server, and your application server may be running on port number 8080 generally or 80 and then your application so this request reaches this application and you will get the content so when you want to change the application or have new features you will remove the app one and then you will have you will stop the server you will have app two you will again start the server then you access this url you will get the new features of your application so when your application is getting more traffic and then uh, your application is becoming more critical, then what you do is you will have similar setup of server two, and you will do again OS, application server, and then libraries. You deploy the same app here. And in front of these two, you will have one load balancer. Now you access your application with load balancer IP port number, and then your application name. Then the request comes here, then load balancer will evenly distribute the traffic between two servers, okay? So in this case, you are managing your traffic better, and if server, one server goes up, at least you have another server to serve your application. So like this, when your application is becoming more critical, you need to increase the number of servers, okay? So this is the physical server approach. And now let's discuss about the disadvantages of this approach, and then we can go to the VMware approach. Let's dis uh, discuss the disadvantages of this approach. Uh, 
okay so the first one you should think about any thing is called cost and then scalability maintenance you can say resource optimization so anything if you are doing a business first thing you should uh, you generally think is you should have less cost expenditure and then you should have your application running continuously up and uh, up and running and then you, you should easily scalable uh, scale your application when you get more traffic so these are the main three things you think whenever you are starting a business right when it comes to the cost if number of servers are getting more and more definitely your cost will go very high so this is the one of the main disadvantage scalability how easily you can scale your application for example tomorrow you are starting a big billion day uh, suddenly you will get more traffic but can you easily scale your application no it will take at least one week time to purchase a server to install the operating system to install the application server and again installing the application changing the configuration all these things it will take lot of time so this physical server approach is not easily scalable and maintenance maintenance is very high because you need uh, some physical space to have your server power connection network connection and some resources to maintain so this is more resource optimization is very less because if your server have for example 16 gb ram and then 1 tb 1 tb hard disk if your application is using only 4 gb ram and 100 um uh, 100 mb or gb then so the remaining uh, resources is going into the waste so that's why this resource optimization is also not uh, is also a biggest disadvantage in physical server approach so now let's discuss about in our next video let's discuss about vmware approach and how it is going to solve these problems at least to some extent